everyone, my name is Katarina from uh, Garden Design Tools. Um, today I'm going to share with you uh, my top uh, 15 uh, plants inside Lumion. Uh, I'm using uh, Lumion uh, 9 Pro version, so uh, two of the plants, uh, they are new. Um, let's start over here with this Edera. I really like it because it's uh, it was one of the is one of the few uh, creepers um, and you can use it in your in your garden uh, projects and after they had that, that uh, in materials uh, that you can to each material can add creepers in it as well so I will do a different uh, video for that and but that's a pretty cool effect if you want some creepers in a wall or you know in a house in the side of a house um, Eupatorium, um, I really like this plant as well. It's a more, uh, I really like in a more naturalistic um, setting. This is personal, this is just some plants I like, okay? Uh, but I, at the same time, I wanted to share with you, with you a bit the, the quality of the, the plants. And um, as you can see, they all will move with the wind. So we, in animations, you know, it will look amazing. So this is a, a Mediterranean olive tree. Miss Cantus over here. So, and the grasses, especially the grasses in the wind, they are amazing, okay? They are, they are really nice quality to them. There is another, another um, grass here. Sorry if it's going a bit quick. Um, I really like the grasses, it really gives that effect, you know, in your animations. Um, uh, the wind is, is really well done and I, I always like, as you could see here, I, I like, if I have the vegetation for it, I like to add a bit of uh, butterflies, not too much. Uh, actually, sometimes I, I expand a little bit so they are more further apart, um, but I really like it. This lotus here. It's really nice and it floats really nice in the water when you have a, a pond, okay, in your garden project. Salvio officinalis. This is another one of a favorite of mine. The leaves are really well done. Alien species. Festuca Glauca, another favorite. And of course, Lavandula. This is really nice and uh, it gives really nice effect. And this is, you seeing it live here in the program, but in the renderings is really good quality. Um, okay, this is a, a, a new one uh, in uh, Lumion. I'm using Lumion 9 Pro. Okay, so Verbena officinalis is one of the new plants. So this is a favorite plant of mine. This is, um, and it's really well done. As you can see in the leaf, this is lovely detail. You have a uh, pine tree, Mediterranean pine. You have bachelor. I love this one. I love, really like it. Bachelor, they have some nice uh, willow trees as well. Uh, but because of, again, because of the wind in the animation looks amazing. As you can see, the bark is a nice, it's, it's nice detailed and in the renderings, it really comes up. Um, the Bougainvilles, they had uh, in the Lumion 8, they had uh, quite a few Bougainvilles, 8.5, I think. Um, and of course, here I'm from Portugal, so Mediterranean gardens, we use a lot of bougainvillea, so this was really great for me. And this is a new one as well, um, the cordeline, um, oh, sorry. So that's pretty nice as well. They had like three variations of a cordeline. So the vegetation is really impressive um, in general inside Lumion. One thing I will have to add or suggest maybe 
Um, it would be great if Lumion had the, the, the Latin names in the future of the plants because they all in I had that question in YouTube uh, in my YouTube channel actually about this and uh, all the names are in English common plant name and um, of course you can google it and you quickly find out the Latin name if you in doubt but uh, yeah it would be great to have straight away the if if Lumion is for professionals, and uh, if most of professionals would prefer, I believe, uh, to be in uh, in Latin. Um, but yeah, that's just a suggestion. Uh, what I do in my projects, um, like I talk in another videos, is that I complement some of the plants. I complement with uh, plants from the 3D warehouse, but plants more. Um, with a more rigid uh, structure maybe and more where the wind will not be an element if i'm doing an animation okay so i will not use a grass from the 3d warehouse but i will definitely use an agave from a 3d warehouse okay and i use that a lot actually so in the 3d warehouse you have a lot of good quality low polygon um, plants that you can definitely and if you mix with the, the this uh, the, the inside the lumion um you have pretty amazing effect okay um another thing is that i know that lumion in the forum if you already have lumion or if you register in the forum uh, they have a, a, an area that um, you can actually um, request um, plant spe species or trees or you know you can request it doesn't mean that it's going to happen or that is going to happen quickly uh, but you know it's something to 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 check it out and see what other people are requesting and maybe adding your suggestions and all this okay so thank you guys don't forget to 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 check our blog we've been doing uh, quite a few videos of uh, lumion uh, 9 um, effects and um, some some things i'm trying out like the light 2 effect skylight 2 effect etc in the in the in the in the blog i have some uh, app suggestions as well if you want to check it out you know um if using in sketchup as well um check it out and and see the the course of course and anything just let me know uh, in the comments in this video or whenever just suggest if a video or if you have any doubts about lumion please um add your question to the comment okay thank you guys